a lipstick haul. I recently went on um, sorry cherryculture.com and then I got a lot of lipsticks mainly from Milani and Jordana um, and I also got a uh, lip balm from Cherry Culture. This is the Cherry Culture Lip Balm in Raspberry and there are a bunch of flavours. You guys should go and check it out. It smells wonderful. It's moisturising. Uh, yeah, grape, there's chocolate, there's peach, those kind of flavours. So you guys go and check it out. Right, um, on my lips right now, I have the colour Plum Rose, which is number 17. That's what it looks like. I'm sorry, I don't know how to use my camera to focus on the the name but this is called plum rose i'll write uh something somewhere all right so plum rose looks like that it's like a nude color this is what it looks like on uh, sorry in the tube so on my skin can you see that yeah. that's what it looks like it's a nude kind of pink it's creamy, easy to put on, really, really goes on really smooth, it's creamy, it's wonderful. And um, if you look at the colour, it's a bit, a, a slight tinge of purple in it, but it's a pink nude, if you guys are interested. Next, I need to wipe, sorry, I had to go grab my huh, makeup wipe. So wipe that off and move on to the next colour you guys don't know how many times I filmed this my lips are gonna just fall off I'm not kidding the skin on my lips will fall off soon if they haven't already alright clear no lipstick um, next colour will be another pink it's called hot pink rage once again cannot focus but I'll write it down and this colour looks like that in the tube, look at it, it's a neon kind of colour, very fluorescent, a bit like fuchsia. This one is really matte compared to the earlier one, which was Plum Rose. Plum Rose went on really creamy, really easy. This one's a matte. I love matte lipsticks, and this is wonderful. Of course, going on, it's a bit... It, it goes on, it's really pigmented, it goes on well. But make sure your lips are moisturised. It's a matte, really nice colour. That's why it looks like if it's darker and if it's bright and it's like that. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Love the colour, it's um, bright. It's like a fuchsia kind of colour. Bit of purple in it. But really nice colour pink. You guys love pink? This is one to get. Especially if you guys are like my skin tone. Like I'm definitely not like just a tan. I'm definitely darker than tan. But I'm not um, on the really chocolate side. So you guys can take a look and see how you want to wear these lipsticks. I chose colours that are good for tan skin. So you guys just take note if you like them. Off. My lips are just... Oh gosh. Right, uh, next I have Flamingo Pose. Flamingo Pose, I'll write it down somewhere there, is a neon sort of colour. Very, very, very bright. Can you see how bright it is? Yes. And this one is like a satin. I don't know if you would call this creamy. I'll set in. Finish. I guess creamy. Is it creamy? These are all well pigmented, so you guys can build it up if you like darker colors, brighter colors. Isn't that great? <gasps> I love it, it's like neon. Ah, it's so bright. I mean, people would be able to find you from a mile away. No, I'm just kidding, but... See? Nice. I like it. 
Actually, I like all the colors, all the lipsticks that I hauled. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself this time. I'm so proud of myself. I keep looking at the screen. I should be looking at the lens. <sighs> all right, and uh, my last Milani lipstick, which I got, was a red color. It's called Ruby Valentine. Once again, can't focus on it. So I'm gonna write the the name down for you guys to see. Not yet. Okay, now. Ruby Valentine. Wipe it off. Your lips get a little bit stained, but I promise you, I'm not wearing anything else except for whatever was left over from the previous lipsticks. So look at that red. Oh, I forgot to show you what it looks like in the tube. It looks like that. And that just so pretty. Pretty. So this is a sheen finish. It's more glossy than the others. So I think one, if you guys have perfect lips, like you have lips that don't have like two tones. I have two tone lips. Out, um, it's darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. So if you guys have um, just one toned lips, then this is no problem. Just one shot. You don't need to go over with many, many, many layers. And even I did not have to go on with any liner or another layer. I just covered really well. But of course, you can put on more to make it brighter. This is very light, I would say. And it's, it's wonderful, especially when you're young. You want to wear red, but you want to look young. This is it. It's very nice. I really like this a lot. Like I'm saying, I'm totally impressed by these lipsticks. They all smell good, really moisturizing as well. Let's go on to Jordana. So I'll start off with a red since I ended with a red. This one is called Rouge number 33. Can't see it once again, but Rouge is from the matte line. Looks like that. It smells so good. Yeah, can I do a comparison of these two? Let's do a comparison. Let's see what the color is like. Is it the same? Mm -mm. This one's slightly darker. But they're very similar. Oh no, I know I like them. Okay, but this one's from the matte line. Of course, it's the matte line, but the she it's a sheen kind of finish. But I promise you, when you put it on, it stays on. Like a matte lipstick. <laughs> On my lips, these look very different though. Different from uh, Milani's uh, Ruby Valentine. This is Jordana's Rouge. Rouge in number 33, Rouge. So this is very similar to um, Ruby Valentine. I guess I have similar preferences in reds. I would say this is got this has got a blue undertone for red colors. Those are good for most people. It doesn't make your your teeth look green yellow, if you know what I mean. This one stays on like matte. It's not. It's definitely not gonna run around. I feel really secure with this lipstick. I feel like it'll just stay on. And it was just one layer and it's already covered. I'm happy. Alright, move on. Yes. Alright, grape is number 28. I wonder if you can. Yeah. I'll just write it. Yeah. Grape is. Let me show you that color. That's so. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep forgetting to show you what it looks like in the tube. But it's like that. You guys can see. I'm masking. It looks like that. Isn't that just so pretty? I love it. It's like a nude color. Wow, my lips have definitely cracked already. You guys can't see it, but they are gone. Look at that! 
Let's just the lower lip, okay? This is the first layer of grip. It's nice. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. This is slightly more purple. I don't have any lipstick that's slightly more purple. Or maybe I do, I just have not used them. So what I realized about Jordana lipsticks is they are very similar to Sleek's lipsticks. But I do like this though. Not comparing Bebe. I am quite happy with them. So it's like a nude color for me. It's a good good nude color for me. If you guys are interested in a pinkish nude, pinkish purplish nude, you guys should go for this one. It's slightly darker in real life. You guys may not realize it, but it's slightly darker. It's a bit mature, I would say. It's definitely not for if you want to be fun and flirty and all that stuff. It's more, this is really subtle. A bit more mature looking, I would say. But it's nice still. Creamy finish, really moisturizing feeling that I have on my lips right now. Uh, so I did rouge, I did grape. Now I have, uh, I have one more called terracotta. No, I don't have one more. I have three more. The other nude color that I got, and I'm really happy with this one. This one's called terracotta. Once again, link it at the down, not down bar, but I'll just write something that says terracotta. Look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? Let me just tell you that it's like the right matte for my skin, you see? See? It's the right um, nude for my skin, not matte. This is also from the matte line. That's what it looks like. On it goes now. It's creamy when it goes on. So really smooth. I'm having fun right now. This is just a thin layer that I'm putting on, but it's already looking so good. I'm not kidding you. I love it. There's just one layer. With all these lipsticks, you can build them up. And I think if you guys are like too, you, if your lips are too toned, like me, I have darker skin on the outside and inside it's a pinkish corally kind of colour. And this is the closest I can get to that pinkish corally colour that I have on the inside. And it covers the uh, darker browns quite well as well. I'm very happy with this colour. It's a wonderful, wonderful nude. Slight bit of pink in it. Just slightly. But it's more corally and I, I really love it. I find it really hard to get the right nude for my skin tone um, because they tend to be either very beige or really brown, which is not what I want. And I think this is really the best I've found so far. Bye bye, terracotta. We have to move on because this video is so long because I bought so many lipsticks. Greedy girl. They were on sale, you can't blame me, okay? It was on sale. They went full price, so. Is it gone? Yes, lipstick is gone. Now let's move on to. Um, I've only got Amber and Caribbean left. Two more, and the video can end. So my lips are wiped off. This is Amber, again I forgot to show you the colour. That's the colour, it's an orange kind of colour, coral. More orange I would say. But the thing about it is, it's metallic, so it's got shimmer in it. That makes it look metallic. So, this is the colour. I love it, I don't know what you guys think but for tan skin this is wonderful so it, even if you guys are fair it's gonna look good and if you're darker skin it's still gonna look good I think coral looks good on everyone but because like you know oranges and corals are good for like picking up the uh, warm undertone in your skin 
especially if you're tan, then, then I think it's not bad. But if you're like fair skinned, it's going to contrast, so it's going to look pretty as well. So. Oh, I love this colour. I did not expect it. I was thinking, should I get Sweet Nectar by Milani or should I get this one? This is much cheaper and I've got a colour that's similar to Sweet Nectar already. I love this. It's wonderful. I love it. It reminds me of like, you know, Egyptian queens kind of thing, like Cleopatra. Makes me feel that way. Last but not least, I've got Caribbean. This one I bought for my mum because this is the kind of colour that she would love. She likes these kind of colours, maybe I should open it up. By the way, Amber... Amber is not from the matte collection. Okay, so that's what it looks like. If it was matte and it looked like this, Caribbean would be wonderful for my mum, but she tried it on. It was metallic, just like amber, so it's not good for people who are more mature. This is a sheen finish. Glides on. I should use my mirror. Handy dandy mirror. This one looks like that. It's different from amber, but similar. You see, amber is this color, and this is Caribbean. So Caribbean is darker. So if you're a darker skin tone, this would look good. I think it would look good on darker skin tones, this one, Caribbean. Amber would look good on almost anyone, because it's in the middle. You can be really fair, and you can be really dark. And then this one is a very dark color, so I think it would look better if you're darker skinned. Ooh, I don't know which one is which. Overall, I'm really impressed with all the lipsticks, Jordana and uh, Milani. Um, if you guys loved this video where I show you the colors on my lips, I swatch them, give me a thumbs up, and then subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. This is Angela. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Mm-hmm.